Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zedan, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown. But the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. How's your father? Doing well. Thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his. Some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, Air Force lit. Oh, that's nice. Hello? Strandberg is a lunatic. No, he is capitalism. I mean, that's what we all want this day and age, right? Uh, not me. That's a load of rubbish. Don't get involved, should we take action? No, no. Uh, matters of national security, but I, I just run a shoe shop. It's out of my hands. Take it up with No, me. sir. I can't grant you access to this area at the moment. Sorry. Was mildly annoying. And it's off. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody here. No matter where we go. 
you my fine nice. plate. No harm done. Go ahead. Buddy. Sorry, sir. I can't let you through here now. Please go back. That's obstruction. Get out of here. You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. You guys murdered six policemen. I don't recall that being part of the contract. Read page two. So, do we have an understanding? Yeah, yeah, sure, of course. I just, I just don't see the need for all the secrecy. And you don't have to. Orders are orders. Look, trust me, you don't want us in the building. We don't exactly inspire a sense of tranquility. And I can't have your men slouching around downstairs. So you just hold the fort, up here, and my guys will take care of the rest, yeah? Yeah, yeah, right. Take care of the rest. Slouching. My guys don't slouch. Get down. Move on to Klaus Strandberg. That is Klaus Strandberg, most wanted man in Morocco.
Hi there. Sir? What? What do you want me to say, Lisa? I know this is the biggest day of your life. Believe me or not, I cannot single-handedly create an international imprint to get out of my right. Oh, you're tall. Okay, let's see. And handsome. Here. Six small screws and five sort of smaller screws. Five. Can that be right? That's what it says. Okay, what else? Eight plastic uh, knobs, I guess you would call them. What the hell are those for? It's just a chair. Oh well, I'm sure naked silhouette guy will walk me through it. There he is. So, one, two, assembly. Right. <coughs> okay. Naked guy is... What is he doing? Is he got stomach cramps, or what is he... Oh, wait, okay, I get it. He doesn't get the instructions. Well, I'm sure I can manage. Thank you very much, Naked Silhouette Guy. So, what's next here? What the hell? What is this? The Large Hadron Collider? What is this? It's a freaking chair. What the hell is that Z-shaped thing and the little wheel that moves in a counterclockwise... Okay, screw this. You let me down, Naked Silhouette Guy. Yes, hello. This is, well, I'm calling from the Swedish consulate in Marrakesh. You people sold us the, uh, Nafli chair. What kind of a name is that? Right. So, Johan, I'm having a bit of trouble with the assembly instructions. There's supposed to be some sort of wheel. How are you, sir? is killing me. Not my field, sorry. Both targets down. Head towards an exit. Do not 
Compromised, but I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was that? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Take a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. <laughs> 